So what do you want to know about this? And what was the cubic inch again? It's 521. And what what do they call this block again? It's the 385 series. Which means? Uh, originally it was a 460, 429. So 460. Well, I kind of been growing. This car's been growing on me. You know? I know. I know. So, and I know I texted you about it. You wanted to sell it. You said you were thinking about it. I was thinking about two options. I, I found a Corvette I kind of like, but would you would you sell your Coronet RT above me? Oh, I don't know about that. It's a pretty slick car. But this. Is the number I was thinking of. Oh, let's see here. Open it all the way up. Yeah, I could definitely do that number. I could do that number. I, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll do that number, but two options. I'll do that number if this Corvette, I know it's a manual transmission, take a look at everything. If I buy the Corvette. So you got to find out if you're buying the vet first. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure if the guy wants to sell it, but that number right there, I can close for myself. Now, I can tell you this right now. Um, it does not get very good fuel mileage, and the fuel I'm running in this thing is like 20 bucks a gallon. doesn't matter. It's getting a Casper-Matic. It's going to get a Casper-Matic? I already got a guy that's going to buy the C6. Perfect. Then I just built it. That's even better. We just did a video on this It's thing. brand new with the transfer. We literally just did the video. I got a guy who said he'll take that. Perfect deal. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. But I still eat Pertillas. You do, don't you? I do. You never got to race this car. So how about this? Whatever I build next, I'll race you. And whatever I build next against this. I tell you what. If you're going to buy that Corvette, I'll give you five cars in the bus to get to this thing. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. All right, dude. Sweet. I'll make a deal on that. Consider the Rowdy Bird Soul. Jeffrey from Two Hacks Garage. Well, you know what, guys? I'm turning a new leaf over in my life. I sold the Thunderbird, Mr. John Cope from Cope Racing Transmissions. He purchased it from me. I had it up there building my C6. And, uh, you know, I realized that car was way, way too rowdy for me. And, you know what? John's a really good guy. It's in much better hands with him. So I made him a really good deal on it. Um, sold it and I, I bought a Corvette. Yep. Bought me a 2006 Corvette. Um, it is the LS2. I don't even know what that means. Uh, six speed gearbox. I still don't know how to drive a stick. Um, but you know what, guys? It's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm turning a new leaf over. Um, I started in the winter time behind the scenes. I, I've been taking up golf and I even started drinking coffee. Um, I've also been paying attention to a lot to the environment and this car here, you know what, it gets like 27 miles to the gallon. It's got catalytic converters. So this is kind of my homage to the Greta Thunberg uh, crowd. It's going to be much better for the environment than that gas guzzling 521 cubic inch scary car. I was absolutely afraid to drive that car. So this is a new leaf I'm turning over in my life. John, why he's been a good friend of mine, you know what, he's been giving me a bunch of grief about it, telling me I'm going the wrong way in life, but I need to be a role model to you guys out there to do the right thing. Do what's best for the car culture, and you know what, guys, that's not drag racing, that's not making a bunch of noise, that's not making, you know, all the tire smoke. You know what, that's going to car shows, and when you get done, you know what, stop, have a game of golf, you know, and just relax and be normal. Heck, you know what, I'm already prepared. Kyle was nice enough to give me a lawn chair. So when I go to these cars and coffees events, and when I go to all these car shows, I can sit there in style and comfortable and relax. I even got me a new pair of shoes. Oh man, they're, 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 they're clean. You know, you're usually seeing me on camera all dirty. You know, they're clean. I'm gonna have to probably shave, cover up my tattoos or get rid of them. But you know what guys, I am so glad that I got rid of that gas guzzling menace of a car to buy this Corvette. I haven't came up with a project name, but you know what, guys? I, I'm thinking, you know, Project Car Show or uh, 
How about Project Coffee? One of those two will be a good name for it. Um, this video, you know what? I'm just gonna have to say it. I'm losing my toxic masculinity and I'm gonna be hopping in this Corvette. But before I do that, we got a whole bunch of work to do to it. Cause safety is first guys. Safety is always first. And you know what? I wanna make sure this has got good brakes. I wanna make sure the seat belts work. Kyle's gonna show me how to use that third pedal, which I've never seen before. And I, I is it a gearbox or a gear shift thing? I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm learning, right? With my golf club, be able to, you know, do something like that. I don't know. But Jeffrey, no longer Jeff Rowe. That's too, uh, too uneducated of a name. Uh, we're gonna go by Jeffrey now, cause that's my birth name. Um, yeah, so it's Jeffrey from Two Hacks Garage, and we're gonna call it Project Cars and Coffee. It's very fitting, I like it. I can't wait to take this in the morning to go get a nice cup of joe, head to the car show, talk to a bunch of guys, you know, about Hall and Oates and, you know, the cool 80s or 70s and whatever they did back then, then leave there, play a game of golf, go home, sit down in my lawn chair, and just look at my car and say, wow, that's one of a kind. That's a beautiful decision right there. What do you think, guys? I should probably show you what's inside this bad boy. See you in a few minutes. Oh man, just look at this beauty. It's even got that iconic Corvette symbol, semi-metallic paint over that awesome plastic. Whew, she's a beaut, Clark. I don't know, I think, uh, I think I ripped Cope off by getting this car. I think I got the better deal. I mean, look at those wheels. Man, oh man, those are awesome. Hey, and the tires, whew, ain't no burnouts on those bad boys. And eh, the rotors look a little wear. Yeah, it's probably riding the brakes a little bit, but man, check out the rear end on that. Wow, look at all the room back there for golf clubs. Man, that is awesome. You can fit probably two racks of golf clubs, a couple lawn chairs, maybe even a cooler for some iced tea. Well, let's see what we got going on inside. Right back. Oh man, now this is what I call a car. Check this out. Man, what is that down there? Oh, that pedal. Oh, it's stiff. Oh, oh it must be having something to do with this. I'm gonna have to figure uh, that out. I wonder what the, oh, what's that say? Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Is that volume control? Huh, that's weird. I'll figure that out. Kyle, he's, he'll show it to me. But check all this out. Oh, oh man, look at that. It's got traction control. That's going to be awesome. No more crazy burnouts in my Thunderbird, frying the tires, making all kinds of noise. I can just hit that button and go, go, go. I doubt I really ever press the gas pedal on this car, but if I do, you know what? I'm going to be doing it in style. I mean, just look at those gauges. Those are gorgeous. Temperature gauge, oil PSI. RPM probably will never see past 2,500. I'm not sure. Zero to 200. Oof. Speed limit 70 guys. So I'm probably hover around 62 to 64. Not quite sure. Oh, check this out. Oh, that, oh, oh, that opened. Oh, it's got a CD player. Man, that's going to be awesome. You know what, guys? I'm going to ditch the doors, the Rolling Stones, the Grateful Dead, all that music you guys know me about. And I think this is going to be much better for like Hall & Oates, Jefferson Starship, who knows, maybe even Sonny and Cher. Not quite sure. I'm, I'm going to have to check my music collection for that. But yeah, guys, this is, oh, look at this fine. Oh, it's better than Corinthian leather. Ricardo Montalban would be upset. Oh, look at that. Yes, definitely. Absolutely, definitely good enough for two, two sets of golf clubs, two or three Lawn chairs easily. Man, that's awesome. And the best part, oof, right here. Oh, man. Two cups of coffee can fit in that. Oh, I did get the better deal. Look at those Corvette, all oh, those Corvette plastic. Oh, that's going to keep the mud off there. Oof, man, that, that's beautiful. John, I'm sorry for ripping you off, buddy, but man, this Corvette is beautiful. Oh, man, this is, this is definitely my style. Well, let's see what she's got underneath the hood here. Hmm. Oh, look at, oh, this is European sports car styling. If I've ever seen it, look at that. Oh, the hood opens reverse. Oh, man. This is, I might have to get a Lambo door kit for this. Look at that. Corvette LS2 plastic valve covers. I mean, that right there is worth, I don't know, guys, 30, 40 horsepower easily. 
Man, this is a beaut. Look at that. It's got a snorkel that goes in there. I bet you, I bet you, uh, you know what? I bet you 10 euros and a Starbucks latte that underneath there, there's two air filters. What do you guys think? Maybe, or just one big one? Not quite sure. Maybe, maybe if I decide to push this thing past 70 miles an hour, maybe I put a K&N in it. Look at all that horsepower. All that unbelievable, awesome horsepower. I don't know, John. I think I ripped you off. Man, such a beautiful car. Project Cars and Coffee, I love you. April Fools, you really think I sold my Thunderbird to buy a Corvette? Absolutely not. Speaking of which, you know what? John Cope was in on this too. I told him I was going to throw his name up there. My car's still up there getting worked on. It's going to be one bad SOB. You know what? I don't think this Corvette would stand a chance in a drag race. But you know what? That's not what this video is about. That was an absolutely an April Fool's joke. I really don't have anything against Corvettes. I really like the older ones. But seeing everyone really craps on them with the old guy, white shoes, white socks, and car show stuff, I decided to make a funny video for April Fool's Day. With that, guys, you know what this video is about? This is a friend of ours, Corvette. Not everything on Two Hacks Garage is making a bunch more horsepower. Sometimes it's just getting cars ready for spring. This one's one of them. The brakes need to be done. You know what? We need to go through and check some other things. We know it has oil cooler lines that are leaking. And just give it all once over. Make sure the air clean, air filter is all ready to go. Make sure it's tuned up. Whatever we have, you not. Whatever we find on this, we're going to do. Because a friend of ours, he really wants to take this thing out. And he beats on this car pretty good the way this thing's meant to drive. Because these LS2 powered Corvettes with a six-speed, they really do run really good. I, however, like the older ones much better. But you know what? This is American horsepower, so you got to give it that. So this video is just really helping a friend out, getting his car ready, because it's starting to get nice outside. And when it's nice outside, that's when you can go and play, do burnouts, break the limit, speed limit, break laws, all that fun stuff Two Hacks Garage wants to do. With that, guys, I hope you liked that April Fool's joke. As you can see, I'm back to dirty jeans, car t-shirt, not getting rid of my tattoos, probably won't shave for a while. I hope I got you. If I didn't, you know what? It was fun making that video. So with that, what we're going to do, we're going to get this thing up on the lift. We're going to show you what we got going on. So this is actually called Project New Balance. We're just helping a friend get his car ready for spring so he can go break some laws in two hack style. See you soon. So what we got going on here is we're replacing the brakes. Uh, it's only got 64,000 miles on it. It's uh, actually a factory brakes, factory rotors and everything, but they're grooved up pretty good, worn, and they're squeaking pretty bad. So what we're doing is we're just gonna be changing out the pads and the rotors, uh, factory replacement parts on this. Um, if, yeah, Kenny's holding that one pad. You see, they're not actually that bad, but they are squeaking pretty good. Um, like I said, this is an 06. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do first is change the brakes. See you in a few.
All right, so this is what we got going on next. We just changed the brakes. Uh, this has an oil cooler line that's actually leaking. Um, it's kind of an odd place to put it because it's so tight, just like everything else in a Corvette. So there's a bottom line there, and then there's also one that's up there, and it snakes through underneath here, if you can see it, and it goes up to right there. Um, so what Eddie is doing now is he's draining the oil out of this, and we got to take it loose from here. And there's one bolt that's actually tucked up back up underneath there. And we got to release the two C-clips on the front, snake that out, and replace it because it's leaking. Um, it's common on these 06 and 07 vets. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy taken care of so it is no longer leaking. I think this thing has seen a few parking curbs or a few parking blocks in its day. Woo! in a rush to get that coffee. Yeah. All right, so we went ahead and got the oil cooler line swapped out and got everything pretty much cleaned up. That was all soppy, wet, nasty back up in there, covered in oil. And then from there, um, we put the new one, or got it connected back there. Kind of a neat design, comes right off the top of the filter, routes through that way. Came with new hardware, new gasket. That gasket right there is important. Uh, a lot of times it gets overlooked in some cases or reused and it'll leak. Um, then from there, we routed it and got it in there. There's a bracket in there that we thought the bolt was going to be a pain in the butt, but with an extension from this side over, we're able to get it. So really, now what we need to do to uh, Project New Balance is put some <laughs> oil in it, and uh, she should be good to go. See you in a few. Purrs like a kitten, no leaks. This one's done. All right, well, we're going to call that one a wrap. You know what, guys? I hope you enjoyed that April Fool's joke. You know what? This is a cool car. Like I said, they are pretty powerful. It's American horsepower. Same time, I like my classic American V8s. I just think it's hilarious with the car show, cars and coffee, white shoes theme, you know, all the memes and funny stuff out there. But with that, this is a friend of ours vehicle, ready for the summer, ready to go cruise. We got all the brakes changed, got the oil changed, and that leaky oil line. This one's ready to go. It's two hacks approved. I'm sticking with my 1968 Ford Thunderbird. And by the way, guys, I do know how to drive a stick. That was all just a joke. If you got offended by it, I'm sorry, but that's not my problem. That being said, this is a cool car, but I'm going to stick with my Thunderbird, Kyle's GTO, Eddie's Chevelle, anything classic, but all important, anything American. With that, we'll see you in the next one. Later.